Bargain Find of the Week. This is the Plantronics Backbeat Pro 1, meaning it's this is the last version. But some people might like this version better than a newer one. Be not that not that they review poorly, they actually might review a little bit better. But you're gonna get the clear variance take, and since since there's such a good price on these. I think they're worthy of a new review at at the price because when they were it's probably been a while since anyone's done a review and they certainly weren't thirty nine dollars when they were reviewed. So um, you're going to get a little more insight onto the product based on the new cost and its value proposition for those looking budget conscious um, people looking for. A feature rich great sounding pair of headphones and they don't want to break the bank so give me a second to squeeze my fat ass around over by the by my chair and we'll talk about these headphones let me just squeeze it up a little bit so we can give you a better view okay anyways uh, once again your good friend clairvoyant back let me Get my chair a little bit centered here. And I'm going to give a shout out to the um, retailer, which I got these from, Tech Rabbit. Um, I bought them through their eBay site. And when I seen them, I was actually looking for the Plantronics um, Backbeat Pro 2s. I just seen a review on Z Reviews of them. And I had wanted that pair of headphones for a long time. I had seen them. I had seen them, I was at the Sprint store, and I, I seen them, um, they had one pair in a box, brand new left, and they were selling for like $129, and from everything I had heard about them, I thought that was a really good deal, because they reviewed so highly, um, and when I went back to get them, I didn't buy them that day, which I should have, when I went back to get them, they were gone, then I started... I started scouring like every Sprint store I could looking for them because I wanted that like immediate gratif gratification so every time I drove past a Sprint store I wanted to run in and pick them up and of course I couldn't find them but I think I might be better off with the first generation um, pair of headphones and certainly when you factor in the cost of these I mean holy shit now there is one caveat okay this is a refurbished pair of headphones, okay? But when I received them, okay, there is one flaw in them now, but I think it was me more than the headphones themselves. There was one flaw with these headphones, and you know what? Oh, my God, I'm hitting buttons on it, and they might be... Oh, shit. All right, thank God I had them turned on. <laughs> and I thought I might on a Bluetooth might have affected something, um, something on... Uh, reporting source because I had it hooked up to it anyways um, the, I mean the refurbished okay I think in this case these headphones were just a customer return because they still had some uh, uh, original plastic on them and whatnot so I just think it was someone opened them put them on their head and um, for whatever reason maybe they wanted to get a different pair of headphones or you know could have been a kid that wanted beats or something and you know how these dumb kids Want, want what's popular not necessarily what's good not saying that some of the newer beats aren't good but they're certainly um you're paying for advertising with them anyways let's um get in a little bit of history of plantronics plantronics actually got their start in the 60s making communications material um specifically um communications material for the space program meaning when you listen to those old uh moon landing um, videos. We're not going to get into how many moon landings there were because that's one of those Mandela effect type deals. Certainly didn't think there was as many as they say there are. But it's uh, another time, another subject. Anyways, um, they made the communications material um, gear so the people in their astronaut suits on the moon could talk to those back on Earth. So that, that means this company's Pretty, I have to say that they're a, a pretty good authority on, um, on communications. And that's the biggest plus on this headphone. If you, like I, wear headphones all the time, 
and I wear them constantly. I always have a pair of headphones on my on my head. Okay, it is extremely nice to have good qual call quality, and these have great call quality, wired or Bluetooth. Fantastic. Out of out of all the headphones that I've ever reviewed or owned or still own, this is the best sounding phone call quality that there is. I've never had better. And I mean, until I do, this will be the reigning communication champion headphone. I am looking for the Backbeat Pro 2 still, if I can get a deal on them. But like I said, um, I've talked about it. I'm thinking about repurposing this channel. Um, I basically um, have been doing headphone reviews, some higher end, and not like super high end, but I think, you know, um, I think my PXC 550s were like $400 when I got them, and I think that might be the most expensive pair I've done. I've done the DSR9, or DSR7 um, headphones. I think I paid $350 for those. I've done the Motos. I've done, well, I've done more than a few um, $300 plus headphones um, over, over time, and uh, so that's about it. So I'm going from $30 to... 400 I guess is the range that you're gonna get with me if uh, if I ever hit pay dirt Maybe we'll start looking into some of the high end, but I mean, I mean we all would love to have a $2,000 pair of headphones. I just want to know what it, you know what a two thousand what a two thousand dollar pair of headphones will actually do because I don't know I don't know what it does. I mean, it's I don't know. Is it like a blowjob? I don't know I ain't got them. If you want to send me in a pair of two thousand dollar pair of headphones, that would be great. I'm, I'm unfortunately very sick and I um, will never work again. So this is about the most you're going to get out of me, um, and uh, certainly the money ain't there to do that, and it never will be. So, so I yeah, like I said, I'm going to think about changing the focus of this channel to um, budget headphones, finding a great deal, not necessarily budget headphones, but great deals on headphones. For the budget conscious and this is certainly going to be a price leader um this is a fantastic deal if you if you like i um have some children that are dependent on you and are waiting on santa claus okay and you can't just can't afford to be spending a crap ton of money but you want a good quality pair of headphones this is the set for you i checked it before i did the video there's still tech rabbit on ebay Okay, they are refurbished, but they're still in fantastic condition, like new. And um, $39, folks. $39 for the most feature-rich pair of headphones that I've ever reviewed. The most features that I've ever reviewed. These are solid headphones for the money. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to get it nice and close to you. Let's start with the cord. Let's do the little Z-review thing. Okay, it's... Nothing, it's a little, it's not janky by any means, but it's a rubber, rubberized cord. Four pole, you hear me in every one of my videos. I don't know why every headphone cord isn't four pole at this point. I don't think it costs like anything more to do it. And it should be purple, praple. We all like purple, everyone likes purple. I'm not too cool for purple. It does have an inline, um, inline little remote jobber microphone joint i don't know if it's really necessary because the mic's so good in the headphone itself but there you have it um it's good very good the pads are okay let me show you how slow they come up can you see that very slow reacting so it's a memory foam like material um very comfortable and you can see let me oh, make sure i didn't hit any buttons that i shouldn't have again I shouldn't have did that. I should have not had these hooked up because I still have a GoPro that's at a friend's house, but I haven't been able to get it. Um, but you can see the, I mean, there's a very nice pads, very comfortable, um, good size to the ear cups. Um, I've wore these headphones for 10 hours straight with no discomfort and or fatigue from listening. Okay. That's very important. Now, I have to I have to go on this all the time. I am a hypocrite. I keep getting noise canceling headphones 
and I don't care about noise canceling and I think that it should only be an add-on unless you are now, I apologize to anyone who is a serious commuter. You live in you live in Jersey City and you have to take a subway to New York every day for work. You are a candidate for noise cancelers. If you're an Area 51 worker, or you live in Vegas and have to take one of those red and white unmarked airplanes to Area 51 every day to reverse engineer some uh, alien... Um, technology then you are a candidate for these but if you're already um, reverse engineering UFOs maybe you have a pair of headphones that the aliens were wearing on that ship and, uh, and you could re-engineer those and send me a pair and I'd be glad to have them um, that would be that would be awesome if you are area 51 worker why don't you why don't you private message me I'd love to ask you a lot of questions about stuff okay but they do only have 45 degrees, but they are comfortable to wear around the neck. No problem. I could sit for hours with these without being uncomfortable. Some headphones, I, I, I know my HE4XXs, I can't wear, I, if I'm not wearing them on my head, there ain't no way to keep those things that ain't comfortable. And I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I'm I'm on a roll. I'll wear any pair of headphones on a road. I mean, if I, if you know, never mind. I'm you know one of those big square ones that everyone you know brags about that they made make in Japan. You know what I'm talking about. Oh Jesus, of course the name's gonna slip me. But even those ungodly things that you have to have the you know the amp with it and everything else. You know, um, I would wear those on the road if I could. I don't I don't care. I I mean, I, my headphones for me are a portable way of listening to music, and it's all good. So, so we got into that. Now, let's talk about some of the features on these headphones. The noise canceling, we'll get into first. Once again, I think it should only be um, an accessory unless you absolutely need it. I think, the, you know, the things you need, um, the things that I look for first in a pair of headphones is sound quality, comfort, Build quality and price. You get know, you, and these hit all four of those, all four, all four of my criteria they hit. But I'm, I'm going to go quickly for those Area 51 workers. I'm going to talk about noise canceling. I'm going to say the noise canceling of these is only about maybe 60% of the QC35s. I haven't. I haven't been able to afford nor um, listen to the new bows. Um, so if you want to send me those um, when you're not at work at Area 51, but you got a lot of money because you got some strange metals off those UFOs, um, you know, send me a pair of bows too. Um, but I'd say it's about you know 60% of QC 45s. But Here's the thing, if you're going to use the, the noise canceling, there's no ear suck. You know how sometimes the really good noise canceling earphones have like this uncomfortable like suction where it feels like it's sucking your brains out of your head? These don't have any of that. You don't, I mean, you don't, you don't have any of the effects of uh, wearing noise canceling. Um, I'd say the Teotronics BH-04Os, I believe it is. Yeah, the 040s is the high end. Teotronics, um, those are about 80% of the bows, and I'd say if you're looking for a budget noise canceler, and that's really important, yeah, I'd go with that pair of headphones, but these have better sound quality than the Teotronics, I hate to say it, folks, and certainly have a lot more features, and maybe even, I think, those of you who are considering the Backbeat Pro 2s, I'd say you might want to consider these because I've, you know, seen those up up close and these are certainly a better looking, more conservative pair of headphones. They don't have that wood grain and the weird texture around the cups, but they do have, okay, you see this, this is a little dial here. So if you want to, um, well, first of all, if you want to answer a phone call, you just click this button in the middle. If you want to, you know, change your track back and forth, you can just turn this dial, okay. There are lights inside here and here, okay, one, you can change the color of them if you get the app, okay, um, 
So, and then your volume, you can turn this up and down with this. Okay, it turns for, for volume, which is very nice. Let me make sure I didn't didn't screw up anything in my video again. Okay, so you can, you can do that. Um, you got actual switches for on and the noise canceling. I am a big fan of an actual clicky switch that goes in and out. Um, you really got to try it, folks. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Now, this button here. Okay, you may you may have had the uh, um, I have I bought the um, Sony XM 1000s the first generation when they came out. And they had the they had the hand over ear thing to talk to somebody, and then I had the um, well I still have I got rid of the Sonys for whatever reason I you know I, I wasn't as crazy about the sound quality at the price so I I actually took them back and got the Audio Technica um, DSR sevens and I think. <laughs> I think for sound quality, I was way better off. And since I'm not a noise canceling guy, I do have the PXC 550s, which actually have the tap to, um, you know, to bring down your music and listen around you. These actually go one one step further. So this button here, you, if someone starts talking to you, you hit this button, and it reduces the music to next to nothing and amplifies everything around you. These are actually probably a spy pair of headphones because you can hear what people are talking about in the next room. It, the microphones in these are so strong that you can hear people talking about you in the next room. I don't know about with the door closed, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, you can get pretty good idea what's going on. Um, the ambient is fantastic. So that's a really nice feature. Click the button in and out. You don't got to hold your hand there for an hour where you're talking to someone saying, hey, yeah. you know, Sony, you might want to think about that. I know it looks... For, for a second, it's a good way of showing off. But if you got to hold your hand here, that defeats the whole purpose. Um, and, you know, I, even though I'm not a noise-canceling guy, I do love the ability to wear a pair of headphones and talk to someone hands-free. That is fantastic. I, as a matter of fact, I hate holding a phone up to my ear. It's not that I'm not strong enough. I got, I got a gun there. I can, you know, I can hold a phone up to my ear for a long time, but... I just like being able to do other things while I'm talking on the phone. And, and once again, I'm going to say this is the best call quality of any headphone I've ever listened to. And I've listened to a lot of them. Now, that being said, let's get into the next. Let's talk about sound quality. These headphones are very, very good. Okay. Now, if you've seen my last video on my budget headphone of the year okay and that's a brand new headphone okay the um oh jesus um archon delegatos yeah that's what they are um i just started redoing my wall and i put up a whole bunch of headphones but i gotta get more of those little pegs to do it um but the archon delegatos were you know are a fantastic pair of headphones they are uh, um their frequency response is better than these, okay? They get really up there with the highs, but they don't have, these have a lot more low end, okay? So these are a well-balanced pair of headphones. They, um, they will not disappoint. Now, where this pair of headphones at $39, okay, I know they're not, that's not their brand new price, but they might as well be because there wasn't one nick on them when I got them. And um, all the features are working fantastic on them. So I would I would definitely give Tech Rabbit um, a shot on a pair of these, even though I may return these, but not to get rid of them, but to get another pair. I'll get into that in a minute. I don't know if it was my fault or whatever, but I, I had something happen to these headphones and um, I'm disappointed about it. Anyways. Now, it's not USB-C, it's just regular USB, and it's kind of a bummer, but um, whatever. Uh, the sound quality is fantastic on these. It's, um, I wouldn't say it's not high-resolution audio. You know, it's, these headphones, um, they work in the 20 hertz and up um, category, they're not going to get down to five, and I don't know how many of us can hear that, but uh, I don't care what anyone says, okay, um, even though we only hear certain ranges, for some reason, when you get a pair of headphones that have the dynamics to get higher ranges, 
or lower ranges per se, um, that ability does, um, does give the headphones a better sound. But for a 20 to 20 pair of headphones, these are absolutely fantastic. They do have a little bit of a V shape, okay? Um, so the sound, um, it's not such a bad thing. They're a very pleasurable listening experience, okay? Are they completely accurate? They're not as accurate as like the M50X or, oh my God, I hope I'm not showing anything that's, unless I don't get enough views to get in trouble for anything, so I'm not going to worry about it. But, um, let's see here. Yeah, the, um, the sound is fantastic. It really is. It's good. Um, and here's where these beat my last review um gaming this like i said people spend a lot of money on gaming headphones and you know i don't care if these don't have a little mic going in front of your face it doesn't need it um i'm not against gaming headphones by the way some people say don't bother although although some of the gaming headphones are way overpriced i've you know actually if they want so goddamn uncomfortable, the Turtle Beach 800Xs for um, on my work, Xbox One X were fantastic headphones, man. I swear to God, some of the, I mean, some of the sound modes on those were absolutely, you know, the dynamics on them were great, but those fucking things were uncomfortable. And the nice thing about those headphones, and that's not the only pair of headphones that do it, but those were nice because you could be gaming and take a phone call and actually... It would adjust the sound so you could hear your game and talk on the phone at the same time. And it was a good experience. And those were fantastic headphones. And I had the Turtle Beach Pros and I had the 800 um, Steel Series 800s, which were one of my favorite gaming headphones. And the, oh Jesus, the, um, there's too many, too many to talk about. I'm not against gaming headphones, although I do think um, that moniker um, brings up the price a little bit. And um, you know what? These, once again, $39. If you're talking about gaming headphones, if you want to get a $39 pair of Turtle Beaches, I don't know what they call their budget range, like Air Force or whatever. They are. Those things fucking suck. Um, these are fucking fantastic for gaming because of the communication, okay, and the comfort, because you can wear them for hours, okay, they have enough bass, so when you're, you know, when you're blowing stuff up, which we all like to do, I mean, after a long day, kids driving you crazy, kids go to bed, you want to blow stuff up and have it be loud, put these on, and have a great time, um, very very well tuned pair of headphones for gaming and music so we'll call them a hybrid okay these will appeal to many many people for that reason now i don't know if this was i don't know if it's because of my balding up here i didn't wear these with this hat on okay even though this hat doesn't have the little thing on it um that's something you got to be aware of if you're going to wear a baseball hat and it's got that little nub on the top it's going to fuck up your headphones but i don't know why i've wore i can wear like i said i don't know if i said that because this is my second take of the video but you could wear these for 10 hours at a time and, and it wouldn't bother you at all but for whatever reason now i have this little slip cover i bought four bucks on it and the reason i have it okay is for some reason, okay, let me, I'm not going to take it all the way off because it's hard to get back on, but for whatever reason, I started to get a little peeling here. You see that? And I don't know what it is because when I got them, they were in brand new condition, but after wearing them for a while, I did get some of that. And I get that a lot with, for whatever reason, if you look at this material, it's got the, like, it's got the holes in it, so it's perforated, so it should breathe with sweat and everything else and not, and not have a problem. Um... Build quality of these, I'd have to say, is fantastic. I think I just got a pair that, I just got one pair that's got a defect in the material on the headband, but it's a very attractive leather on there. It's very attractive. Now I go through this all the time because I'm, I'm a fan of Audio Technica headphones and Audio Technica's the 
the leatherette, I'm going to call it leatherette because it's not real leather on Audio Technicas. Every pair of Audio Technicas I've ever had, the band wears out and the headphones wear out fast. Um, you might as well, you get a pair of Audio Technicas, you might as well go on the, you might as well add the pair of Deconis, add the cost of those out of the cost of Audio Technicas. A lot of Audio, um, MSR7, favorite headphone of all time, but um, pads and headband, um, it's got a real thin film of the leather-like material on on the cushions and it wears out in no time at all it's they i don't know why they don't address that i'm sure that if you've had a pair you know what i'm talking about um still great headphones but you know what i, I remember my first pair of msr7s i didn't care those fucking things were falling apart and i still wore them i didn't care man i wear them in rainstorms i you know they took a beating and um you know, they lasted a long time, but the pants didn't. These are better built. Um, these are awesome pair of headphones, man. For, for the price, um, you really got to give it a try. So, um, I've rambled on a long time about these headphones. I think I did a good job of conveying um, the quality of these headphones. If I missed something, okay, I didn't use any big words in this video. I didn't, you know... I didn't use semblance or anything like that. Oh, by the way, while I'm in this video, I don't know if you're watching it or not, buddy, but Gadang has been, you know, I talked to you a little bit, man. I love your channel, man. Um, I aspire to get my channel somewhere where yours is someday. Thank you for doing what you do, man. Um, I, and I appreciate the couple shares you gave me, man. It made, it made a difference. Um, helping me immensely. Thanks, dude, man. You're a good dude. So, once again, um, Budget find of the week, okay. The um, play it, Plantronics Backbeat Pro Ones. Um, right now, um, they have ten pair in stock um, at Tech Rabbit on eBay. Uh, they're fine pair of headphones and um, hard to beat at the price. I know they're a last generation product, but you're paying a five generation ago price to get them. So. And they're not last generation sound quality, that's for sure. These suckers, these suckers, um, they're very good. Very, very good headphones. They're not tuned like the MSR7s, okay? But that's not to their detriment because not everybody likes that, okay? I'm more, I'm more of a treble than a bass guy. I'm not a big fan of the huge amounts of bass. I like to have good quality, accurate bass. I don't want none, okay? These have a lot of bass, and a lot of people are going to like that. Do yourself a favor, man. Just go out and get these, man. 39 bucks, man. I don't care if they're refurbished. They're fucking awesome for the price. Um, and if you see something that you think is a good value like that, and you want to hear about it, um, please let me know. Once again, please um, bear with me. It might be a little while before I get some, back to reviewing a lot of products because Christmas is coming. We got foster kids, and you know I want them to have a good Christmas. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take a break for a while. Um, I don't want to, but I might, I may start re-reviewing re some headphones that I may have reviewed in the past, um, just to fill in some space. I think that I, because of the sheer amount of headphones that I've listened to, I think that I may, um, it may be. To everybody's benefit that I take a new look at some of them and reassess where they're at um, you know because I think that I've uh, gained a little bit more perspective over time and I'm not I'm not of the opinion that you have to have the most recent headphones to get a good experience there are plenty okay of one two generation old headphones out there that are every bit as good as what's out there now um the technology for drivers and everything you're paying tons of money to get something that's infinitely better than what's out there now okay and you know you it's really like let's take a look at the let's let me give you an example um the sony sony um 1000 um x's okay xm1s xm2s xm3s okay 
how much of a I don't think they've really changed the drivers in them so you're still getting the same quality they've they've enhanced some of the features and they've changed the some of the materials on the cups but really it's still the same pair of headphones um, if if you were at the store and they had a brand new pair of XM ones for $99 and a pair of XM threes for $350 okay could you justify okay for no increase in sound quality spend an extra $250 for a pair of headphones that from five feet away you couldn't tell were any different from the other ones now now that's on you um does that mean I'll never buy a new generation pair of headphones again no I will okay but it's not necessary okay to get the best um, listening experience possible and what I'm a huge fan of um, is diversity and by by finding deals like this okay I can have multiple pair of headphones okay if you could if you can give me six pair of headphones with this quality or one pair of three hundred dollar headphones which are you know I don't think that there's any sound as far as um, tonally okay there is nothing better about those $300 Sony XM 1, 2, or 3's. I've heard them. I just don't own them. Okay. There's nothing better dynamically about those headphones than these ones. Okay. And these ones might be better built. Um, they're very close features. I know the Sony's um, have a lot of features, but these... Um, and I didn't want this to be a comparison video, and I don't know why that headphone came up because that that one's actually been forgotten about a little bit with, uh, you know, with the new bows out and everything else. Um, people have stopped talking about those Sony's. Those were real popular for a while. I mean, those things were, you know, everyone was raving about them, and you know, uh, these are not any difference sound wise these actually might have a little bit more bass than those and as far as the dynamics i'd say they're right on par so and okay i also have the pxc 550s um and i think that these are better than those yes i do i think those ones are kind of cool because of the egg shape and you know that little touch control is kind of cool, but it doesn't always work. It's not a perfect science. This one with the little button, you press it in and it goes, man, that's, that's all there. So, yeah, I got these for $39. If it is a defect in the headband, I don't know, because this that pad that I got for 4 bucks actually um, makes them more comfortable. It adds padding to it on the head, and, uh, you know, it uh, doesn't really alter the appearance of the headphones anyway. Now, I guess if you've seen these before, you can actually do the zipper on the inside they've shown that done but it's a fucking bitch to do it so you know i'm not gonna spend the time and i think the zipper on the inside might actually rip the material in there but uh guys this, this is another two thumb up pair of headphones and it's an absolutely fantastic bargain go out and get these suckers now well you don't have to go out and get them because they're on ebay just um you know just punching your credit card number and Go to town. Good deal. Your good friend Clairvoyant signing off.